this would just be one example of many, many, many beliefs of primitive cultures, superstitious beliefs, that science has discarded. Hey, wait a minute, there might be something to this. Maybe if there's like a bad energy in a rock, okay, that doesn't mean that the rock's going to jump out and beat you up, but maybe the electromagnetic field that comes out of the rock can actually be sensed and picked up by a person. Maybe talking about the Earth Mother isn't just superstition. Maybe the electromagnetic field of the whole Earth is part of the environment that we've involved in for a billion years. Maybe actually being in touch with nature literally means being plugged into the electromagnetic field of the Earth. Maybe when we're out of touch with nature, we've actually gotten disconnected. We're so surrounded by electromagnetic pollution in cities that there's literally like a physics unplugging from the electromagnetic field of the Earth. And maybe that results in our feeling empty and spiritually disconnected. So instead of just being a debate in philosophy, this now becomes something you could actually study. Because you could measure the electromagnetic field of the whole body in a city environment, and then in Sedona, Arizona, or you know, some uh, sacred ground of the Indians, and see does the electromagnetic field of the body actually change and adjust to the field of the surrounding environment. So that's kind of the anthropology side of it.